credit to you know the, the two Robs that they, they, they want to get this club going places and he's the best there is nobody better than Curtis Jones and, and we are better when he plays and right, you can see um, that. I think their goal probably done us a favour because we started playing and didn't we um, well, Neil a big thank you for joining us um, lots of positives from today to be yeah. fair it was always going to be an uphill task um, what's your, your general feelings after after that one today hey, I think he said everything when I came out today and they had six lads down here uh not involved today and then then finding out they've got 23 contracted players and they can leave them players out then i look at the squad and it's just littered with talent everywhere you know listen credit to them semi-final of the trophy possible going to get promoted absolutely chucking everything at it you know money wise and you look around and you know you, you are envious at times it's i'm not saying it comes down to money but it, it comes down to you know, signing better players. I've had Trey Pemberton, I've had Danny Lafferty, I've had Tundi Wallaby, I've had Paul Dawson and Chet Books talk, you know, and, and, and what Macclesfield have got is is that in abundance and you can't knock them. You know, they're a really good side and, and credit to, you know, the, the two Robs that they, they, they want to get this club going places. And it was just, that was what it was for me. It was a it was a matter of, you know, you don't think Rooney's going to play for them. You don't think Curran's going to play for them. You think, right, okay, but then, you know, the players that come into the positions and it's, it's hard. I'm never going to criticise lads. I thought they worked really well. I thought we, you know, we, we, we took a bit of a battering first 20 minutes and we got a foothold in the game. Then we scored, you know, they scored and we scored and psychology plays a big part. And then we came out second half and just, we got undone with two really poor moments of defensive lap guy. Doesn't need to go inside. He, he goes into a centre half area, the lad goes on the outside and then the second guy gives away a stupid free kick. He doesn't need to do it. He's learning and then, Heathcote comes off the back post and, and we lose our market. He goes in the bottom corner. Uh, so all in all, you know, frustrated, to be honest, Ben. The thing, the problem uh, we, we, we're going to have today is, you know, you, everyone will go, Tundi Olaba, mark him. But they've got so much quality. And, and even then, you know, with the Heathcote goal, mm. it's... I mean, you, I mean you, oh, Drummond's going to get himself a move, forty, fifty thousand £50,000 pound in, in, in the summer. We all know where he's going. Duffy, they've gone and signed for what fifteen grand. They've got Tundi, who's you know silly money. You've then the midfield three. You know I, I don't know where Curran gets in, where where Rooney gets in. Oh, you bring Brian Dixon on. With, bring with Brian Dixon left. on. You know yeah. and you know they can they've, they've got that quality, and you've just got to you've got to say well done. You know and, and they're a, they're a machine. They're going places, but we didn't get we didn't make it easy. For them. I thought we'd give them a really good game and. Do you know what? How football can change. At one one, Buckley goes through. Yeah, mm. it could be a different game. You, you've got something to hold on to. But I know, talking to Mr. Savage at half time, he weren't happy. You know, he thought we had the better of the last twenty five minutes in the first half, and that was a credit. And he just said at the end, you know, you, you've got a good side, but we are young, we are naive, we, we, we're still, you know, Donahue's got to learn quickly. Tell him he's fit and he's not fit, and he comes off again, and it, it it doesn't it doesn't help really. But then we are where we are. We've gone on. You know, four straight wins. We've come here today knowing it was going to be tough and even tougher probably 15 minutes ago when Charlie Hayes gets a red card. Yeah, and the red card, I'm not going to get you into any trouble for it, but there is, Drummond's committed a foul there, a really mm -hmm. bad challenge and the free kick's gone the other way ultimately and it's just it's, a bit odd. It's not a red card. It's not a red card. I mean, I'm not going to well, say it. it's not a straight red anyway. It no, it's second not. Yellow. It's second yellow, yeah. but it's the first tackle. First tackle's the foul and yeah, all right, Chaz comes in a little bit late, but he's, he's, the ref's got to get the first one right. But listen, the ref had a good game, to be fair. The linesman had a good game. I, I'm not going to complain about them. Uh, whether it was a bit of frustration from Chaz, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, then we, we've got to play the last 15 minutes with, with 10, and that, that's really hard. But can't knock the lads. You know, they've, they've done done really well and, and possibly shouldn't be playing Jordan Buckley again. But we're having it needs must at the minute, and we've got to quickly shake ourselves down because we haven't got a... 22 man squad we've got 15 16 and we're gonna to have to get ready to go again against ashton that was always going to be the challenge wasn't it J juggling um the squad that you've got heading into ashton um jordan buckley when when he's fit you can tell he's just going to be brilliant yeah. I mean, you know 75 percent fit today still causing problems we've given man of the match to curtis jones oh, and despite you know despite the defensive lapses generally as as a bat line curtis jones has just been everywhere today he's the best he's the best i'm i'll, I'll keep saying that he's the best and He's made his 150th appearance for the club today, you know, and, and he's had a, a lot of injuries in that time, you know, think how many he could have played, but he's the best. There is nobody better than Curtis Jones and, and we are better when he plays and you can see that over the last how many weeks now and, and that's not, you know, that's nothing to do with him today. I think he, he, the, the clearance in the first half was incredible, yeah, incredible. You know, he was, and I'm glad Curtis has got it, you know, but 
But listen to him, man. We, I'm not, we haven't come up and we're not going to criticise anybody. We, we can do, we can defend better. You know, we can defend the first goal better. We can defend certainly the, the second and the third goal better. But, but they'll be saying the same thing. And they haven't had a free hit today. You know, they haven't had a free hit then. So, you know, pleased, but, but also disappointed. Ferguson as well, um, he, he's getting better. Good player, John. Game on game. He Good really player, is. and he's, he's up against one of the best wingers in the league. And, and, and full backs. And full backs, yeah. yeah. He's, he's done well. I, I thought the whole team performance was, was positive. Uh, and we've shown, we've shown brilliant character when, when Yang got the equaliser just on the stroke at half time. And you know what? Another game, you go and get it. You know, you go and get the winner. But can't underestimate what they've gone and done. You know, the squad over the last few weeks, they've, they've really had a, a goal. They've rolled the sleeves yeah. up. They didn't capitulate today like we might have done earlier on in the season. They, they work really hard. And, and I'm, I'm very proud of them. And we know we've got our limitations of who we can bring in, what we can bring in. But but, you know, the, the, I thought they were brilliant then. Takes us to Ashton. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're, we're, we, Liv's got a job to do once yeah. again um, with the injuries concerns. Uh, how, do you, how do you go about things for Monday and Ashton? Well, you know, Donoghue's definitely going to be out. Buckley's down there stretching. I'm not sure whether or not he's going to do it in, or not. But I've just said to the lads, you know, take Ashton, take Macclesfield, take Whitby, whoever it is, if you can't, go and run and put a performance on in front of that crowd because yeah. that crowd is spectacular. That, that is the best away that's following. Gonna, that's going to be my last question to you. That, that is the <laughs> best away following I have seen. You know, it shut them all. They, they, were, they, they were drowned out to our fans. Our fans, all the way through, they, they were magnificent. Uh, and this and that, was the biggest crowd of the season anyway. Yeah, but was it? Yeah. And, and listen, people, people want to play FC United and that's the thing. And, you know, maybe it is the cup final, even though it's big Macclesfield, <laughs> you know, maybe it is. But our fans were absolutely incredible today. And all I'll say to the lads is that They'll make that noise again, but at Broadhurst Park on, on Monday. So, you know, when you think you're tired, you've, you've got you've got a job to do. You've got to repay these guys because these guys are they're just getting better and better and better. And they can see the lads are working hard. And this is why the, the fans are, are, are singing the way they're singing, you know. And they can see that they're putting the bodies on the line. And they can see we've given Macclesfield a really good, cool, really good game today. And that was the, the feedback walking around the uh, the fans at the end. And, and just looking ahead, obviously, we've, we've spoke about Ashton, but generally... You want a positive end uh, to, to the season. I don't think today has, has harmed that in any no. way. Um, how much looking forward to Ashton and hopefully having a, a, a better result on, on Monday? But listen, you know, before the game, I was asked about Macclesfield and Ashton and this season we've beaten both Macclesfield and Ashton and we know that we can do. We've shown today we compete with them sides. So, you know, Ashton will be no different. They're on the back of a 4-1 win against Whitby. You know, Cunningham's doing really well. They'll all be fired up for what happened on Boxing Day, you know, but... We've just got to go about our business and continue to try and do well. And we know that we can beat sides. So hopefully people look after themselves over the bank all the weekend, live and the medical team can patch people up. But what we will do is give ourselves, give a really good account of ourselves and, and go after Ashton. And hopefully they've got momentum about maybe getting in the playoffs. But we've got to, we've just got to build on what we've been doing recently. And like I said, I'm, I'm really proud of the lads. Well, Neil, big thank you for joining us after today's game. Um, have a, a good Easter Sunday mm. and we'll catch up on Monday. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Neil. Uh, Joseph Holtz, man of the match, has chosen my FC Radio. People might look at the scoreline and think defender might not deserve it, but you put in a titanic performance. I mean, a couple of the, the things you did, I think the block for the goal, and then there's one where you hooked it, basically the guy was running in and he hooked it off his toes like in the penalty area, like real do-or-die moments. Uh, it came quick, didn't it? Yeah, I think a tough game. I think it's always a tough game when you come here. And I think we started slow. Took us about 25, 30 minutes to actually start playing. Um, I think their goal probably done us a favour because we started playing and didn't we? Um, <clears throat> done well for 15 and then I think we started the second half well, but we just switched off for their second goal and we start fine margins in it. I think as soon as you switch off for that, I think you've got a bit of a mountain to climb, especially when you come places like here. They're obviously a very good team out there and play very attacking football. Um, but again, I think we did well at times. It's just, it's just that that fine fine line isn't it between you know if you look if you switch off and don't mark your man we get punished and that's what happened with the second wasn't it so yeah yeah i mean like, like you say big so i think we probably didn't really get go going till 25 minutes um you know we started showing signs of life then they scored um but that middle half hour so the 15 minutes before the half uh, time and then the 50 minutes after the half time break um were uh you know basically we, we were more than a match and uh Sort of the big man Jordan uh, literally was one on one with the goalie pretty much. Basically, mm. brilliant to get through between the two, two markers, get a shot off. 
but within a minute we were two one down. It's like you say, it's those fine margins. Yeah, John had done well. Yeah, I think they had a lot of the ball, didn't they, centre half? But they made a couple of mistakes, and I think that's through Jordan, isn't it? It's him constantly pressing, and, and that's what Jordan gives us, which is which is great for us as centre half. But yeah, I just think sometimes through the game we could have kept it maybe a little bit better and and had a little bit more control at certain times because um, that then relieves the pressure, doesn't it? Sometimes I felt like we were a bit under pressure, a bit too much in the game. And um, But yeah, like I say, we just needed that a little bit more to push on, especially when you three, you go three down, three, one down. You just, you just need that little bit more to, to offer the other side to make them think, well, we're in a bit of a game ourselves. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, th I think, you know, we had the luxury of effectively, you know, we, we, there's no pressure on us now, you know, essentially, mm -hmm. sort of the relegation places are pretty much sorting themselves out. Obviously, we're, we're not going to be anywhere near the playoffs. Um, you know, and we came and you could see in that middle half hour, we actually were playing some really nice stuff and you could see that they, they had that sort of weight of expectation. They've got to keep winning, got mm -hmm. to keep winning. And, you know, it, we were, it, was, it was close, um, you know, but obviously the quality showed and they, uh, you know, they kept going. Yeah, I think when you come places like this, the longer that it's like 1-1 one, one or 0-0, nil, nil, the better it is for us because the fans are never going to get frustrated, aren't they? And then that's when we get that edge then, don't we? But like you say, you switch off for, for a second and you score probably, at, I think I don't know what minute it was, was it 60, 65? And that's that's the turning point in the game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we did, obviously didn't get the rub of the green. I mean, so it says his first yellow mm. was pretty certain yellow. The second one, there being a foul, the referee missed. Yeah. And then obviously Chaz goes in, picks up a yellow. But you know, fundamentally, you, you like sort of five minutes ago, place like this, yeah, to ten, the three one down. It was you know you were pretty much like start the car. Yeah, I, I, no blame on Chaz. I think he, he, what, what minute was that? Six, eighty-six or something. Minute, yeah. So you know, if that would have been the twenty-fifth, it would it wouldn't have been a nice day, uh, nice day. But but no, it's no blame on Chaz. It's it's football, isn't it? it happens. So. Yeah, and you know, let's let's be frank. Uh, you know, at three one, they started to look like they were getting rampant. But we you know we did brilliantly well. Um, I think you know, to sort of like just you know keep keep it contained. Yeah, I think that's what probably the positive of the day. That I think there's certain times in the game where they they had a large control of it, and I think we dealt well with like staying in the game and and not kind of letting them get outside. Obviously, we defended quite well at times, didn't we? So, um, and then yeah, second half, I think first fifteen, I think we started really really well and was causing them an issue. It's just like I say, it's so frustrating when you go their end and they score and then they just kick it up. And then the two one down. That's the frustrating bit. Yeah, and, and the final thing, obviously, you know, you sort of were sort of playing this way uh, in the second half. Mm -hmm. You had all those fans behind you on that terrace, saying how good were they? Amazing, amazing. It's a Whitby Tuesday, and you're getting the numbers that we're getting, and then today it's it's the normal, isn't it? It's obviously I've been here for five years now. It, I don't expect anything less than that because they are the, the best fans in non-league footy. Um, so yeah, like I say, it's always much appreciated from us players staff everyone at the club yeah. yeah and obviously you just mentioned five years it's obviously your 150th appearance today yeah i'm aware of this yeah uh someone told me before the game yeah 150 um oh, brilliant brilliant many more to call my hopes so, yeah, yeah oh, i mean like like i said obviously you, you picked up an injury against ashton who were playing on monday yes that was on boxing day um took a while obviously to to recuperate uh, you're now at your absolute best and obviously looking forward to a big game against that very same team. Yeah, of course. I, think, I always love playing the teams that are chasing you know, the playoffs. That's, they're the games you want to be involved in. Like today, I don't know how many was here, but... You know, 4,298. So they're the games that you, you just want to play in. Um, I know we've got Ashton, Ashton, we've got coming up, haven't we, and Hyde. So we've got some great games to play. Um, it's great for us as players, but like I say, I think we need to make sure that we end on a high now. Um you know, and just make sure them standards are set and we don't drop below it. Like you say today, I think I said in the huddle at the start of the game, you can't come on the pitch and put in a performance when you've got that many fans coming to watch you who's travelled all the way. So I think that's the, that's the big thing with us. OK, well, we'll see you Monday. Um, but for now, on your 150th, 150th appearance, mm -hmm. congratulations Thank you. to the Jilsey Fultz Man of the Match as chosen by FC Radio. Thank you. Thanks, Tim.